I'm not sure about you, but every time I get on somebody else's bike, their brakes feel a lot easier to pull on and they release a lot faster than mine. These feel like there's some resistance in the cable. They're a little bit gummed up. It's time for a replacement. So what I've got today is the Shimano brake cable set that I've ordered here and more three letter acronyms and you can poke a stick at S L R S I L T E C S U S W T F. These are the Rode PTFE brake cable set, black. So what I'm up to this afternoon is replacing the inners and outers of the brake system of this bike and hopefully we can get some feeling back into that braking. Let's get to it. Today's prep is pretty straightforward. We have the road brake cable set with inners and outers. Always have a Leatherman tool handy. Cable snips, another pair of tin snips, multi-tool and sticky tape. So technically today's video isn't a how-to, consider a cooking show without a kitchen or without me cooking anything. This is just me working on my bike. If you're a mechanic, I'm sure you'll point out things that I'm doing incorrectly, but at the end of the day, the result still works. So here we go, enjoy the show. If you recall the video that I prepped these bars a couple of months back for, that T9 has done pretty well. No real size, a few little salt marks on here, but I'll just give these a wipe down. Just put a coat of T9 back on these before we put the bar tape back on in a sec. The T9 is actually a corrosion inhibitor which dries to a waxy film. Rather than re-measure anything, we will simply compare and cut. And once we're done there, we trim that end straight. Okay, same for the rear. The length of it that I had was Fine, so we're just going to remeasure against what I currently have. Near enough is spot on, is what I say. Just tidy that end up. And the rear brake cable as well. Let's go with the same size for that. That was looking fine on the bike. Three new cables, good to go.
Now one thing I do here is make sure I put maximum force on the brakes while they're really, really tight to get rid of any play in the system whatsoever. And once I'm happy with that, we can then back them off a little bit to the perfect spot. Without a rear wheel on the bike at the moment, what I'm going to do is clamp these nice and tight. And then put whatever I could find, which at the time was a knife, in between them. And maximum force there on the brakes to get rid of any play in the system. And the last final adjustments to the rear brakes. Job done, took about half an hour all up to replace those inners and outers and still salvage that bar tape as well. So same bar tape as before, happy days. Now for the road test, 100% smoother. I can feel it when it grabs the, uh, the wheel and the response, the let go is just perfect. You may have noticed I do run a little bit more length than is required on the front here. That's so when I take the bars apart and put it in the air travel bag, the bars aren't yanking on the brakes or the gears or anything like that, so they fold up nice and neatly. And having replaced those cables myself, I'm confident that I should have some decent stopping power when I need it. All right, happy days, bike maintenance day over. Time to get out for a ride. Thanks for watching.